everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda Rose and you have clicked this video because that means you are just as excited as I am because my KKW concealers just came in the mail. And honestly, I was gonna like film this whole review tomorrow for you, but I didn't even wanna wait until tomorrow. I'm getting ready just to like go out to eat with my husband. Um, it's already late, it's already 7.35. But I figured that I wanted to just try them on so that you guys can see how they look and then I'll be able to like give you pretty much like a short term review, maybe three or four hours of what they look like when they wear. Now I bought two of the concealers and one of the brightening powders. So I did not get the setting powder just because I just love already my Maybelline setting powder. This is just like my... My go-to, I love the way that it looks with every single concealer that I've ever tried. Um, and it just wasn't something, her powder just wasn't something that was piquing my interest. So I just need to start off by saying that I obviously purchased this with my own money. By no means does Kim Kardashian know who I am, but if she sees this video, <laughs> holla at you girl. But I did purchase these with my own money and all three items with shipping, which was like $8.95, that's a lot. When it comes to shipping, I think that's also how much Kylie's shipping is. Mm -mm, too much money, but everything came out to $62.95, and it was about $54 something for all three products before shipping. So honestly, I feel like that's not that bad when it comes to uh, the price to get three different products for $54, I believe it was. But as you have probably seen in a lot of other videos, these things are small. They are really, really tiny. Look at them compared to my hand. Um, and also them compared to like other concealers that I own. And so they are really tiny. Also, I just realized, ex please excuse how I look. I have my foundation and like contour on, but I left my under eye bare, which I would usually cover with my foundation. But I wanted to see how these concealers work all on their own because I've been looking at some videos and they do look very pigmented and very full coverage. So I wanted to see how much of my under eye circles they would cover. But let's just get some of the logistics out of the way, which again, some of you have already seen but I figured that it was worth mentioning on my channel. So the first thing um, is how much product you get and how much are each of the items. So you can purchase individual uh, parts of the collection for $18, which I personally think is a pretty great deal, $18 for a concealer. But the downside is how much product you get. So we are no strangers to you just getting 0.162 ounces so 0.162 ounces is tiny this is like barely anything and honestly I mean I guess it all depends on how fast you go through it and if it really is an extremely full coverage concealer then that is going to last you a long time but if you love concealer like me I don't really see how long this is going to last but again it is 0.162 ounces for $18 just to give you some uh, perspective, I also have the Kylie Jenner concealers. Kylie concealers have 0.22 ounces, so just um, a little bit more than Kim's, but these retail for $20. So honestly, I feel like at that point, it's not that much of a difference just because half of that concealer is going to get stuck around the rim anyway you're not really going to be able to get every single thing out other concealers that we're aware of is the Tarte Shape Tape which you guys have seen me use multiple times on my channel and you get 0.3387 ounces and this is for $27 so this is a lot more money $9 more but this is like a ride or die and so we'll see how this is going to stand up next to that and last one I also wanted to mention is the Wet n Wild Concealer, which I have used also on my channel. And for this one, you get 0.29 ounces, and this is $5. So I will say this is not as full coverage as um, Tarte Shape Tape, but you can purchase so many more of these and then just build up the coverage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Tarte Shape Tape on one side, and I'm also going to do the Kim Concealer on the other. Just so that you guys get an idea as far as like colors go, I'm gonna swatch them on my arm just so that you can see what they look like. So this is number five, pigmented. 
Then right next to it, I am going to swatch my Tarte, which is in light neutral. So this one is Tarte. I'll insert photos too because it might be easier. That one's the Kim one. And then I also purchased a number three to brighten because I thought that it's possible that five would have been too light. So that's number three, which is really light. And then I feel like the best match was this Wet n Wild concealer in the color Light Ivory. And these colors are really, really similar when you put them next to each other. So again, this is the Kim K one, and then this is the Wet n Wild and Light Ivory. Okay, so I'm gonna go and start applying the concealer. First, I'm just going to pin up my hair, get it out the way. And again, I'm gonna do Tarte on one side, and I'm going to do the KKW on the other. So I'm gonna actually do the Tarte on this side, and then I'll do KKW on this side. So let's start with number five. Okay, so initial reaction is that it is extremely thick and you get a lot on the actual like uh, applicator. So I can see if this is exactly like as full coverage as they say, then just dipping in once or twice can really just allow you to do your whole face, which would be great. So for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna blend KK with this and then the Tarte with the bottom. Okay, so this is really full coverage and also really, really light. I thought five was going to kind of be a little dark for me. And that means that this is really bright on Kim because when she did this with Mario, first they did seven under her and then they did five on top, but she looks really tan. So it's a little interesting that this is also her, her color. Blending nicely. Okay, so initial thought is that it's really light. I wanna put some here too. Balance me out. Um, and let's do the nose. I feel like I still have some darkness right here, so I'm gonna add a second layer. Just right here. And let's see. Wow, like this is just, again, really bright. It's, I'm gonna have to see how this looks against my Tarte Shape Tape. Cause it's darker than my Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm just a little like confused. It's also more of like a yellowy tone. My Tarte has a little bit more of a pink undertone. Okay, so this does look good. Let's set it. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Loose Powder, because I love this powder. And we will let that bake. Now I'm just going to apply my Tarte Shape Tape. So we could already see that this has more of like a pinky undertone. Hmm, just bright, so. See. Okay. I don't know, I kind of feel like my tart blended out a lot easier. It's just as full coverage without like the thickness of the Kim Kardashian one. I'm going to add another layer as well, just so that we can have the same amount of coverage. Go in right here. Okay. So I'm gonna go finish up the rest of my makeup and then I'm gonna come back to wipe this off and then add the brightening powder. So we're back, I have uh, done all of my makeup and so now I'm just gonna go to the last step. First we are brushing away the bake. 
and I will say so I will say I look a lot more dry on my tart side so I'm gonna say so far now we're gonna go and we are going to highlight so I'm just using this little brush very similar to what Mario did in the video and he just went right under where they concealed went right under there this does have like reflex in it so the shimmer and all of that is is legit that is very true I don't know. Do you guys notice a difference? I don't want to apply too much and then it looks cakey. Hmm. Let's try the other side. Okay, interestingly enough, I feel like I notice it more on this side, which is the side that has the K KW concealer. Let's apply it on my nose. Here. Here. Okay, let's uh, take this off. Okay, I am crazy brightened now under my eye now that I've taken that off. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I was really excited about that brightening powder, but I feel like that is just, it's like way too much. I kind of even just want to like tone it down a little just because it seems like a lot. It seems like a lot on camera more than it does in person, but that's like a bright under eye. We'll say I am brightened under my eye. Um, and if I look really closely, <laughs> my KKW side looks better. Like my Tarte Shape Tape, I have a lot more creasing under my eye because that concealer is really dry. And although the Kim one uh, dries down almost matte, it's not as drying as the Tarte one. I'm going to try to zoom you guys in. Again, my face looks so I, I look dry under, but definitely the K K Beauty side looks a lot. So this is the KK Beauty side, which again I I don't really see anything wrong. And then here is my heart shape tape. It's really hard to see, but I have like uh like creasing under here. Not creasing, but like just dryness, the way that it's fallen into my wrinkles. And then on this side, it's a lot smoother. Now, it could just be that I have more wrinkles on this side of my eye, but the side that looks more pleasing to the eye is the Kim side, which, I don't know. I didn't think that I would ever see that. I thought it was like a gimmick. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out, I'm going to eat, um, it's a little like misty outside, so we'll see how this holds up with that kind of weather. And then I'll be back to check in with you guys and give you my final verdict. Hey, so I am back. It is now 12.32, so it's been about almost five hours since I've had the concealer on. And I will say that both of them look really, really good. But I do have a favorite. I did not think that I would but my favorite is the Kim Kardashian West concealer just because it doesn't make my under eyes look as dry as the Tarte Shape Tape. Now I know a lot of people don't set their Tarte one with a powder but I personally do just because I have longer days but I can see um, that that has caused a lot more like scaling and creasing compared to the KKW side so as far as wearing and how well it looks, this is the winner. But I will say the downer is really um, how much product you get for the price that you pay. Although $18 is a great price, uh, it's like half the amount of concealer that you would get in any other concealer. So that's kind of the negative. And also the brightening powder, I do really like it. It's not a color I would typically go for because it is pink but I do like the way that it brightens. 
Um, I just wouldn't use this for every day. This is not a concealer duo for like your natural look. This is definitely for like a glam day when you want to just have a little bit more coverage and look very, very like put together. So that's pretty much my entire review. I would say thumbs up. When it comes back in stock, I would recommend getting the concealer for sure and the brightening powder. And um, that's pretty much it. I hope that you guys enjoy the video, that you like, that you subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.